Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Monday, July the 31st. It's the ninth week after Pentecost, and week four in the Psalm Cycle. Thanks for joining me. Oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Hear my voice, O God. Protect me from fear of the enemy. Alleluia. Psalm 64, and please recite it with me. Alleluia. Hear my voice, O God. Protect me from the fear of the enemy. Hide me from the plots of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of evil, who sharpen their tongue like a sword, and shoot bitter words like arrows, that they may ambush the innocent recklessly and suddenly. They encourage themselves in an evil scheme. They conspire to lay secret traps. They say, who shall see us? Who can search out our crimes? But God shall shoot at them with an arrow, and suddenly they shall be wounded. They trip over their own tongues, and all who see them shall flee. And all the world shall fear and declare the works of God, for they shall understand God's deeds. The righteous shall be glad in God and shall trust in God, and all the upright in heart shall glory. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hear my voice, O God, and protect me from fear of the enemy. Alleluia. Second Samuel chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. After this, David inquired of the Most High, Shall I go up into any of the cities of Judah? And the Most High said to him, Go up. David said, To which shall I go? He said, To Hebron. So David went up there, along with his two wives, Ahioam of Jezreel, and Abigail, the widow of Nabal of Carmel. David brought up the men who were with him, every one with his household, and they settled in the towns of Hebron. Then the people of Judah came, and there they anointed David king over the house of Judah. <clears throat> when they told David it was the people of Jabesh Gilead who buried Saul, David sent messengers to the people of Jabesh Gilead and said to them, May you be blessed by the Most High because you showed this loyalty to Saul your Lord and buried him. Now may the Most High show steadfast love and faithfulness to you, and I, too, will reward you because you have done this thing. Therefore let your hands be strong and be valiant, for Saul your Lord is dead, and the house of a Judah has anointed me king over them. But Abner, the son of Ner, commander of Saul's army, had taken Ishbaal, the son of Saul, and brought him over to Mahanam. He made him king over Gilead, the Asherites, Jezreel, Ephraim, Benjamin, and all Israel. Ishbaal, Saul's son, was 40 years old when he began to reign over Israel. <clears throat> And he reigned two years. But the house of Judah followed David. The time that David was king in Hebron over the house of Judah was seven years and six months. Here ends the lesson. Alleluia praise waits for you, O God, in Zion, and to you shall our vows be paid. Alleluia. Psalm 65, and please recite it with me. Alleluia praise waits for you, O God, in Zion, and to you shall our vows be paid, to you that hear our prayer. To you all flesh shall come. Sin prevails against me. As for our transgressions, you shall purge them away. Blessed are they whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, the blessings of your holy temple. By wondrous things you answer us, O God of our salvation. You are the confidence of all the earth and of the far-off seas. 
By your strength you set fast the mountains. You are girded with power. You still the noise of the seas, the roaring of the waves, and the tumult of the peoples. They that dwell at the ends of the earth are afraid at your wonders. You make the going out of the morning and the evening to rejoice. You visit the earth and water it. Your river in heaven is full of water. You prepare them corn, and so you provide for the earth. You water the earth abundantly. You drench the furrows. You make it soft with showers. You bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness, and abundance flows in your paths. It flows in the pastures of the wilderness, and the little hills rejoice on every side. The pastures are covered with flocks. The valleys also are covered over with corn. They shout for joy. Yes, they sing. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Praise waits for you, O God in Zion, and to you shall our vows be paid. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 6, beginning at verse 14. King Herod heard of it, for Jesus' name had become known. Some were saying John the baptizer has been raised from the dead, and for this reason these powers are at work in him. But others said it is Elijah, and others said it is a prophet like one of the prophets of old. But when Herod heard of it, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised. For Herod himself had sent men who arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison on account of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because Herod had married her. For John had been telling Herod, it is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. And Herodias had a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but she could not. For Herod feared John, knowing that he was a righteous and holy man, and he protected him. When he heard him, he was greatly perplexed, and yet he liked to listen to him. But an opportunity came when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers and officers, and for the leaders of Galilee. When his daughter Herodias came in and danced, she pleased Herod, and his guests and the king sent to the girl, ask, what, ask me for whatever you wish, and I will give it. And he swore to her, whatever you ask me, I will give you, even half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What should I ask for? And she replied immediately, The head of John the baptizer. Immediately she rushed back to the king and requested, I want you to give me at once the head of John the Baptist on a platter. The king was deeply grieved, <clears throat> yet out of regard for his oaths and for the guests, he did not want to refuse her. Immediately the king sent a soldier of the guard with orders to bring John's head. He went and beheaded him in the prison, brought his head on a platter and gave it to the girl. Then the girl gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ and for those who are alone. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, especially Robert, that they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For prisoners and captives, for the persecuted, for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who died, especially Louise, Brother John David, Brother Richard Bradley, and for all who serve in harm's way, and for all the victims of terrorism and violence, that together with Francis and Claire, they may enter into your eternal kingdom. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you for bringing us safely to the end of this day, and we thank you for all the blessings you have bestowed upon us. 
O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Deliver us from hardness of heart, forgive our sins and offenses, that your light may show forth from us. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who seek you, tender God, that they may find and be found. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That your will may be done in all that we undertake to the benefit of ourselves, our families, and our friends, the church, and all people. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. We rejoice in your abundant blessings. Wipe away our sins as we place our hope in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.